Aloha, this is Tom Lesher with the Weekly Pele Report. It is an astrological forecast, and this one is for the week of March 7th, 2012. And this is quite the time. Uh, there's so much going on, so quickly, so rapidly, that I'm going to just try to squeeze this all into as short a period of time as possible and for that basically what we're dealing with here is a mercury conjunct Uranus and it's going on all weekend I talked about it a little bit last week it is intensifying as of Monday mercury stations and then goes retrograde the station point it's a very powerful time it's like the day the Earth stood still. <laughs> the day Mercury stood still. The day my mind stood still. Has your mind ever stood still? Well, if your mind does stand still, something else takes over. And therefore, I am being taken over by Uranus. Uranus is the representative of the extraterrestrial intelligence that is far beyond earthly capacity to understand and integrate. And that's exactly what's happening right now these days is it's all coming in so fast. We're getting reprogrammed. The synopses of our brains are getting changed and altered. And we may feel scattered. You may feel very spaced out. You may feel kind of out of it. And just like you can't really speak as fast as your brain is working. And your brain is working and your mind is working over time. Uranus is just like input, 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 input. It's blowing circuits left and right. So you may find your computer messing up and the mail messing up and your ignition, you know, the battery on your car messing up. It's, this is uh, elect electrical nightmares. We, we actually had an electrical storm the other night here in Hawaii. So, I mean, anything can happen. And anything and everything will happen. We've got the full moon coming in on Thursday. That's tomorrow. And it's a very powerful full moon on the Virgo Pisces axis. And then in this weekend, it's such an amazing time. We have a grand trine that is exact to the degree. If you have any planets at nine degrees I don't, of any sign, okay, any sign, sun, moon, your Venus, your rising sign, if it's at nine degrees, and of course I'm figuring if you listen to this Pele report, you know your birth chart. And if you don't, you should. <laughs> anyway, if you've got your planets at nine degrees, we've got Mars, nine degrees Virgo. I'm going to do it over here. Mars, nine degrees Virgo, going retrograde. 10, 9, 8 through this weekend until next Tuesday, Wednesday. It's exactly trying to Jupiter at 9 degrees Taurus with Black Moon Lilith at 9 degrees Taurus with Venus at 9 degrees Taurus. And then these are trying to Pluto up here at the top at 9 degrees of Capricorn. This is all within a degree of exactitude. This is very powerful. And then, of course, the retrograde Mercury is, is over in Aries at like 7 degrees. So this is all close enough. It's very exact. When we, when we see something this exact, it, it indicates a very tight, it's like, you know, an inductor in electronics, you know. You wrap the wire okay around and around and around and it creates a magnetic field and when you have this third harmonic okay in such tight orb it 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 creates okay a charge and what is this charge about you know and we look at this full moon in pisces and in virgo what is this you know what is this saying to us well what we're saying is, I already spoke about the download, the new stuff coming in. Well, are we empty? Is our vessel empty? You need to pour the old wine out of the chalice so that it may be filled with the new. We need to pour out the old conditioning, patterning, blocks, 
hindrances, and this can be from lifetimes, for those of you who are aware or believe in these past lives, reincarnation kind of stuff. But it can also then be from childhood, your more consensus reality, you know, just past relationships. It could be even something that came up last year or last month. There is so much coming up in our emotional body. This is Pluto. And the Pluto trine Mars Jupiter in this Earth sign is this, you know, it's very root chakra. It's very security issues, money issues, financial issues. It's where the rubber hits the road. Okay, it's what we really think as being real. Okay, yeah, you know, this real, okay, you know, you can talk about this fluffy astrological stuff, but you know when I lose my job or I have to pay you know this bill or this that or the other thing this is where it becomes very real and this is a time for things becoming very real it's time to let go I've been talking about it on a spiritual mental emotional level now it's really time to make those moves to make those changes and it can be harmonious the grand trine can be harmonious provided that we are moving in a new direction this is Jupiter opposite the Mars Pluto midpoint over there in Scorpio okay you know I mean if we look at this grand trine it's it's not always easy so but what I'm saying that this is about is this is about releasing separation consciousness and entering a new paradigm of unity consciousness. Our mind, our thinking, as a tool of the ego, wants to keep us in separation. I can't have this. It's the law of supply and demand. Okay? If I get my way, they can't get their way. If I've got, you know, if they've got all the money, I can't have any money. There's all this cause and effect, Newtonian old style physics. We're moving into the field of unity consciousness. We're moving into quantum physics. We're moving into a new reality where we can all have everything. It's all win-win. We all mirror and balance and connect and depend and unite with each other. So what needs to leave our, our awareness, our consciousness, are these fears. It is just an illusion. This fear is a tool of the ego to keep us in separation. Separation is the source of all fear. Union and unity consciousness is based upon love. And this is the sun moving through Pisces. This is Chiron and Neptune in the sign of Pisces, breaking down the barriers, dissolving the walls of separation. This is a time we've all been waiting for. Neptune is returning after 165 years to its natal home of Pisces. God of the waters of the oceans, the oceans of unity consciousness. It's very, very powerful. The mantra for this week, like the rays of the rising sun, my light scatters the darkness. Like the rays of the rising sun, my light scatters the darkness. Everything is relative. We are creating this reality. We may feel as the rising sun, this powerful inward loving opening that's happening and we scatter the darkness. We may feel, on the other hand, if we're living in separation and fear, like we are on the launching pad and the rocket is taking off and blasting the shit out of us. <laughs> you see, there is a scattering one way or the other. 
okay things are being rearranged things are being released and let go of if you're clinging and holding and fearing you are going to experience this time period full of anxiety full of loss full of grief full of fear and you're going to experience it's like oh you know the ship is saying bye bye and I'm left behind and you know there's there's going to be feelings you know of regret farther down the road yeah but we don't need to create that what we want to create with this kind of a mantra okay is that we are the source we are the light we are creating this scattering of the darkness it's not happening to us it's happening for us and it can happen through us ideally we become the channels that are scattering that darkness and we are encouraging the letting go the dropping of the old way of the old system of the old forms of relationship of the old ways of being in separation so This is a time where we're all baking our cakes and we're going to have to eat them later on. <laughs> so, <laughs> I suggest you put in some positive ingredients <laughs> so you don't get too dragged down in the mire. Yeah, don't forget, I talked about the different stages of evolution, right? In the consensus reality, three quarters of the population is going to experience this time period as, oh my God, you know, it's all happening to me. And it's freaking me out and and we can go there or we can go okay I don't know where this ship is headed but I am with it I am trusting I am believing I'm gonna stop fearing I'm gonna love no matter what I'm gonna create no matter what I'm going forward with my God-given design and desire and my you know I mean, I, this is a, it's extremely, like I spoke of before, it's extremely creative. Work on something new. Bring in something new. Yeah? Be the entrepreneur. Be the rebel. Be the revolutionary. Do what's never been done before. Say what's never been said before. And if other people look at you like you're crazy, you know, so what? You're having a good time. You're opening your heart. You're loving life. You're creating a life that you love. It's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. So, what did I want to say? Uh, I just put up on Facebook. I'm going to email out if you're subscribed uh, to my New Paradigm Astrology newsletter, you know, which you can do on, the, uh, on my website, newparadigmastrology.com. You just go on there and you put your name and email and you get these things uh, emailed to you but I'm coming back to the mainland I'm gonna be uh, doing uh, workshops in LA Sedona Portland and then I'm going to Europe uh, I'm gonna be in Sweden at the no mind festival in Germany and the UK it's very I'm I'm very excited to be bringing so much more about the black moon Lilith so much more about the balancing of the masculine and the feminine and what this opening of the heart is all about and 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 moving shifting from separation consciousness to unity consciousness and how this relates to your individual birth chart and what your role in it is and and you know what kind of blocks or whatever you want to you know be breaking through at this time it's 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 very uh, you know I'm into it so anyway I thought I would share that and I wish you the very best. I'll uh, uh, see you again next week. And aloha, namaste. So much love. Rise like the rising sun. <laughs>